So the first thing is home internet. And we we're, we're really want to have make sure that if people are going to be home for the long haul, that they at least have internet speeds of 150 megabits on the download and 10 megabits on the upload. So that type of speed is not really expensive today, and it's just going to be really important. What we're seeing is a lot of people getting frustrated that their connection isn't reliable or it's choppy or slow. And when we go and take a look at it, it's because the speeds they're getting at home really aren't going to be up to that, that minimal speed, and they're going to see some impact from it. So uh, looking at your provider, again, 150 megabits on the download, 10 megabits on the upload would be really uh, critically important. Um, so looking at that, and listen, it's no secret to us, and you may be seeing it yourself, that the way that most internet providers, Comcast, Cox, you know, all those cable internet providers work is in a shared business model. So the more people that are working at home, the more people that are on Netflix and doing homeschooling and all that, the more there's going to be taxed on anyone, everyone's individual uh, experience when they're on the internet. And so if you're unable to get the performance that you need, uh, we've been recommending people take a look at some providers that are out there. Um, and if you're living in kind of a greater Bridgeport, greater Hartford, greater New Haven area, um, there's a newer fiber to the home provider called Go Net Speed, G O N E T S P E D, Go Net Speed, that really provides extremely fast internet for people's homes at a very low rate. Just to give you some context for anyone who understands these things, you can get gigabit speed, right? So that's almost 10 times faster than what I recommended for $99 a month. Um, so it's it's not available in all areas, but you know, looking at your internet options, uh, there are some new ones out there now, maybe worth kind of looking at that, especially for people that are going to be uh, home for the long haul. Another thing that we hear people asking us about all the time is wireless boosters. Hey, my internet speed at home is not really what I need it to be. Can we get a wireless booster? And I think it's important that we understand from a business standpoint what a wireless booster does. Uh, a wireless booster does not make your internet speed faster. What it does is improve the wireless coverage, you know, in your house or in your office. Um, and in most cases, what we're seeing is that that's not really the problem, right? The connection from your laptop uh, back to your home router is probably solid in most cases. Certainly could be evaluated, but, but probably solid. And a wireless booster is unlikely to make your internet better. Um, if you have employees or you personally are having some issues at home with your internet speed and you think you need a wireless booster, uh, what we've recommended to people is, hey, go take your laptop and for a little bit work much closer to where your router is, where the signal is going to be strong, and see if that makes a difference. If that does make a difference, then perhaps a booster is going to be needed. Um, but in most cases, that, that isn't the case. Um, and if you, do, if you do go to your router and find out that that booster, that the signal strength is an issue, um, you know, what we've recommended there is looking at some of those home wireless mesh products, mesh M-E-S-H. There's some very inexpensive products from Google, from Amplify that provide a home mesh network um, that will help those people that have either large homes or have their router, you know, kind of in an awkward spot, not where their, where their uh, office is. Uh, those are something that very easily installed and can give you much more uh, coverage if it turns out that's going to be the case. Here's something that we have found that does help quite a bit. Uh, many of us that have been working from home now really understand that video conferencing um, and share and collaboration online is just a normal part of life right now. Um, and the, the, uh, the lexicon of like I'm zoomed out from just being on uh, those meetings uh, has really gotten into uh, kind of the business uh, verbal cues all the time, just as much as being Googled or all that stuff is too. And so um, when we're on those conferences, uh, whether it's audio only or audio and video, the quality of the speed, meaning that we have quality connection becomes very important. And so what we're recommending to people is if you have high value uh, employees that need to be on video conferencing all day long, it, it really, anything you can do to get them hardwired is really going to make a huge difference. Um, and we've seen it time and time again. Um, me personally, when I first started working home, first three weeks uh, seemed to be pretty solid. Now I was early to the work at home. Uh, IT Direct was in general. But I think as more people started working from home, we noticed that like my home internet living in West Hartford just became uh, a little bit, a little bit more taxed. And even just running a wire to my computer really provided enough stability uh, on my connection that it made, made a big improvement. It hasn't made it perfect, but it definitely made a big improvement. Um, and so if you have employees that need to be connected all the time, um, it would really be important to consider, you know, can they be wired? And again, if you just want to test that really pretty easy, 
get a cable, have them go near their, you know, their router, their cable modem and plug in and just test it. And if you, they see a consistent experience after trying that for a day, you know, it really might be worth considering, you know, running that, uh, running that wire and giving them uh, what they need.